Now, the thoracics, I see a lot of people pounding on thoracics, pounding on the system. And really, that is our guarding center. What does a, an animal do if someone's gonna hit them, right? They tuck and roll and protect from the tail all the way through the spine. We do the same thing if, you know, God forbid someone takes a swing at you with a bat, but realize, you know, that's the first thing we wanna do is we protect this way. Because the way the spinous, the transverse processes are, are meant to deliver the energy outwards instead of into the spinal cord. So that's a protection system. And if we're banging on people's backs, what is that whole system goes into protection mode even more, okay? So when we talk about the dura, we can feel, and I'm scanning his spine as I'm talking. I'm used to talking and, and, and finding subluxations. Right now I feel T2 on the right side. It's rotated. It's actually higher on the right. I feel the transverse process on the right. The spinous has gone to the left. And I also feel in the mid thoracics, this may change once I adjust the upper thoracic. Very often these areas right here in the, in the mid thoracics, um, T8 to T10 compensate from above and below. T10 through 12, what I see usually happen when we have lumbar subluxations, we'll see a subluxation in those transitional ones, which a lot of people have a lot of trouble adjusting the bottom thoracics and the top. So first I'm gonna adjust this, this T1, and I'm gonna adjust this single hand, and we're gonna adjust it P to A. Now, I see a lot of times people, let me just move your head, cranking the neck over as far as possible and then jamming through it like a scissor. We don't wanna do that. What I'm doing is just really feeling for those moments where the dura is at ease. We feel this one little point right there with his, his, his whole bo body and he's guarding. It's something he's been protecting for a long time. Just in that moment, right there. We didn't have to hear a sound, okay? And all that is actually much more at ease. Do you feel that difference? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to have a click that you can hear. An audible sound is just a very small part of the spectrum of sound. There are sounds that our little, you know, human ears can't pick up. We know that with dog whistles and all those things. That vertebra now is free to vibrate until it reaches the tone of the central nerve system. Every electrical system, I think it's 54 hertz in your house or whatever it is, that's a wavelength, which is the time and space between waves, just like if you're surfing. And then the same thing in our neural system, but everybody's is different. So much, this is just so much softer here. And all I did, I'm just bringing that to a point where I can feel his dura just let me in and just deliver that adjustment, okay? So this one didn't free up. It's more at ease than it was a moment ago, but I feel T9 right here is rotated. I have a high side on the left side. I'm gonna contact that with my pisiform and with stiff arms and just feel that moment where right there his body says no. And you can feel that. And right there, his body said yes. And if we wanna think about the ebb and flow of the tide at the beach, that moment the, 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 the water comes up to the beach and pauses, that's where the adjustment comes from because it's also, it's coming in and out at the same time. That's in the quantum realm, okay? That's where Schrodinger's whole experiment with the cat was. So that's where adjusting in the pause. That was from Pasquale Sarasoli. And I think the pause is really funny when we talk about Schrodinger's cat, okay? But we adjust in that pause. It's not from us, it's through us. And you see, I didn't jam, I didn't use my triceps. What I did was just fall through. I fell through that adjustment. So my inertia, my force, went through my pisiform and adjusted that vertebra at ease. Good job.